Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is a subject that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can create this design right here. It's really simple, but it is a very popular style. So right now that sort of simple floral style is in, especially in Etsy, but on Amazon as well. So if you would like to learn how you can go ahead and do this design quickly and easily, please do stick around. Okay, so here I am on Canvas home page. I will be designing a, uh, a design for a t-shirt. So I am gonna go ahead and hit custom size. And when I'm designing for t-shirts, I design uh, 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I have had people ask, by the way, if I use those dimensions for everything and you know, no different products will have different dimensions. Most of what I sell is t-shirts. So that is primarily how I will design. And sometimes I'll design something for a t-shirt that would also look good on another product, in which case I can take that design and put it in, you know, on a page with other dimensions specific for that product. But if I'm designing for a t-shirt, yes, it is always 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And no, I don't do it anything to it after I download it. I put it on the shirt as is, and I have never had a problem with quality because I know that's another question that I've, I've heard a lot um, with people on Canva is, do you have to do anything to you know improve the quality? And no, I don't. It is just, I design and what you see is what I put up and it always looks great. So no, no problems there. So I have my blank page here. I am gonna go ahead and design for a darker color shirt because those are the most popular selling is the darker colors. So I do optimize for the dark colors most of the time. So I'm gonna show you a really simple design. This should be pretty fast and easy to make, but it is a popular design style now that I'm seeing both on Etsy and on Amazon is more of that simple floral style for girls. And so we're kind of moving a little bit away from the groovy and a little bit more into just that really simplistic style floral type designs. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and we're gonna do a teacher design. And so I'm gonna do this in all caps and I'm just gonna write teacher. And we'll go just like that. And we're gonna pick a font. And so I want something a little bit fun, all different fonts that you could go with and you could go to your display style fonts and look through those too. So there's all sorts of, you know, more, cute kind of fonts. And so if you were to just start playing with these, sort of looking for a cute font, I wouldn't necessarily call any of those cute, but you can see how there's all different types of fonts. What you're looking for is something that's gonna be a little bit bolder, maybe something that has a little bit of rounder edges, you know, that's kind of cute. I do like a lot of the groovier style stuff. So if I went with Groovy tends to look pretty good when it comes to like rounder fonts. So like that one is kind of cool there for teacher. I actually kind of like that one. That is Rundeck, by the way. And so that's a good one. Um, not too fond of those. I've already picked out the one I want, by the way. I'm just kind of showing some different ones. That one's pretty simple. But the one I want is one called Nectarine. And this is a Canva font, so you don't have to, you know, find this font anywhere else. Just nectarine, I think that that looks cute. It's bold, it's big, and I'm gonna put it kind of way down low on the page because I wanna make sure I have room for it because this design style has little flowers coming out of each letter, which looks really cool. And I'm gonna pull up one more text box and underneath, we are gonna go ahead and go with a saying that just says, helping little minds grow. And it's gonna go across the bottom. And for this one, I want it to be a different font. I want it to be something small and sort of scripty. So I'm going to go with a script font here. Again, you can just type script and search for different script fonts and go through it that way. So lots of different cute little script fonts that you can look through that look pretty nice if you were to do that. The one that I'm gonna go with is actually one called Buffalo. And so if you know, the name of the font that you want, then it becomes pretty easy to just find it. So here is my Buffalo font. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make that uppercase. I'm gonna make each of the letters start with an uppercase. And one more. Oops. 
grow. There we go. Helping little minds grow. And so it's going to start something like that. And then we're going to go ahead and pick some really simple flowers. And then we're going to go ahead and pick some colors. So really simple design style again. So let's go up to elements and let's do a search for simple flowers or simple flower and see what comes up. And so when we go with simple flowers, we're going to start seeing a lot more of these sort of line flowers here. And so those all look pretty nice. And so you can do just the line flowers, which are cool. Or sometimes they'll have simple ones more like this that it'll have a little bit of color to it, but pretty simple still. And you're looking for a group of flowers that are all going to kind of look like they go. You need a good variety. So if you start seeing things that you think you might like, just click on them. If magic recommendations come up, even better, you can click on some of the ones that you see there that maybe you like, if it looks like something that might work for you. And so some of those look kind of pretty. And I can go back and just keep going until you've got a good selection of different flowers that you think might work. Again, here are some other ones. I really like that one, looks really cool. I'm always going to those magic recommendations to see if there's any ones that I like any better so some of these simple ones here these are all simple flowers that i like and the cool thing about a lot of these is it allows me to change the colors so that i can get a good variety of different colors if i want and so we can do that and i can keep going make sure you get a good variety um, to work with because we're going to need several flowers, at least one for each letter. So that's at least one flower for each letter minimum. Here are some more flowers. And again, I can change the colors, which is great. So I can get some different shades in there. And so looking at some of those simple flowers, see if I like any of those. Okay, once you get a good grouping of different flowers, what we can do is we can kind of move them out of the way so that we can see them. Or if you wanted to, you can just go ahead and close that down. And if you go to recently used, it's going to show you all the flowers that you just selected. So now everything that I selected is up here in recently used. And I can just sort of get rid of all of the flowers on my page pretty easily then and just go ahead and pick from my recently used. And so that's why it's always easy just to start grabbing things that you think you might want. And they'll all show up here in your recently used. And so now we can do these one at a time. And you're just going to start sizing them and picking where you think that they might look good. And so, for example, there's a flower. Pick another one. Same thing. Go ahead and shrink it down and put it wherever you think it might look good. Don't worry about it overlapping. I'm going to go ahead and send these all to the back. So for right now, I'm just putting flowers up anywhere that I think that they might look good. Again, don't worry about the colors necessarily either because we can change all of these colors later. So right now I'm just trying to get some placements of different flowers that look good and I may play with some of the placements, but get my placement, get my sizes approximately something that I think looks good. That's an interesting one here. Might look cool on the C. Keep going. And you'll want to make some bigger, some smaller. Make sure you get a good variety, nice spacing. So all those things that you can think about when you're picking your little simple flowers. You can also, by the way, angle them too. So if you want one of them angled a certain way, you can definitely do that. If you want them any smaller, you can definitely do that. So that's the first thing I'm doing. It's just sort of getting my placement of everything the way I want it. And so I like something like that. And so right now I've just got some little flowers coming out of where it says teacher and it's kind of cute. By the way, I can take that teacher, hit it and hit control in my right bracket a couple of times. And eventually it's gonna bring it all the way to the front. So now those flowers are all looking like they're coming behind. So now we're gonna to have to pick some 
colors, okay? Now you wanna have a handful of colors and a color scheme that all kind of looks like it matches. So you can either do the flowers first or the letters first, um, but you're kinda gonna want the letters and the flowers to match. So let's just say for simplicity's sake, I start with the letters. So I'm gonna start with teacher. And the first letter color I'm gonna pick is something in the purpley shades. And I want it to be something that's kind of light, not all too bright. So, you know, maybe something in that shade there looks kind of cool. So there's my first one. Next color, and I'm just pulling random colors out of the hat here, but you can select any way you want. Maybe some sort of a pink. That looks cute. Again, maybe I go up, make it a little bit lighter because I want it to stand out on a darker background. Next color, maybe some sort of yellow shade. And again, with the yellow shades, I can kind of try to keep these a little brighter, lighter in the yellows. Keep going. Maybe some sort of a tealish shade. So I did like that teal color. And you know, that one right there looks kind of cool too. And you can do as many colors, or you can have them start repeating. And maybe I want some sort of a bluish shade here, why not? So maybe a light bluish. What do I think? Maybe bring it a little bit more into the blue, a little bit lighter up. Or maybe even just a little lighter that way, so it's a little bit more in the gray. I think my purple is maybe a little too bright. Maybe I bring that purple down just a smidge. So something a little bit more like that to match. And so you can see how I've got that going. And then if I wanna just sort of start repeating those colors, I could. And so if I wanted to take that and then put the purple that I had right next to it, I could. And then maybe that pink again. Or if I wanted it to be a little bit more random and not necessarily go in that order, or maybe even go backwards, I could do the teal here or the yellow here. I could go maybe put the yellow here. It's not even in the right order now. What do I have? It's a different color yellow. So something like that, again, just sort of random, not necessarily in any particular order, but now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start matching these up. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my green and let's go and see if we can maybe match the green on the letter C. And I can do that with all of them, by the way. Take the dark color and go ahead and just match that green on the yellow C. So that one's a good one there. Already has that nice light green. This one, go ahead, what if I matched that green there? This one, take that green, let's match that sort of lighter green. Let's take this dark green here. Again, I'm just gonna try to match that sort of lighter green. Same thing here, let's try to match that lighter green. Or this one, maybe that lighter green. So something there. Oh, this one here, I missed that one. All right, so that's starting to look nice already. And I'm gonna take this one, that yellow, I think I'm gonna try to match this yellow maybe a little bit better so it's a little bit brighter, I like that. So now anything that maybe has that yellow, I'm gonna go with that, that lighter yellow or a kind of lighter yellow to kind of get that to match a little bit more. That looks kind of cool. This one, maybe I want those leaves now to be, let's make those ones yellow. That looks kind of cool. And then the inside, let's go ahead, maybe white, or maybe even a nice pinkish color. That looks kind of pretty there. Take this again, maybe make that that nice lighter pink color. Maybe make this more of a whiter color so that it pops out a little bit more. And so you can see sort of how I'm doing this. Just sort of trying to match these colors a little bit better. I don't really like that blue color. If we go with a nice lighter blue or maybe even throw that teal or purpley kind of color in there. I like the purple there. And so now what I have is a cool design there. I like the way that that looks a little bit better. And again, I can play with this and I can even flip that one around. 
I like that a little bit better. And maybe I want this one to angle a little bit more. So now I'm just doing some little fine tuning to the angles of my flowers and whatnot. But there's the basic idea there. So I think that looks pretty cool. Teacher helping little minds grow. This is a very popular style. Once you have it all the way you like it, I can group the whole thing together. If I need to resize it, I can. I'm going to move it up in the page just like that. And so now that looks pretty cool. Now, another thing I can do if I wanted to would be to put an outline or a shadow on the letters. Or if I said, hey, I think maybe this would look better on a lighter color shirt. I usually design for dark, but maybe this is one that I specifically want to optimize for lighter colors. I can take this and maybe go ahead and say, I'm going to make that one pink and then go ahead and see how it would look if I put it on a white background. So I can do that and see how it would look on a white background. And if I do it on a white background, I'll be like, oh, some of these flowers aren't popping very well. So if I wanted to do it on a light color shirt, for example, maybe I would have to change some of these colors here. So maybe instead of white flowers, I would have some purple flowers that might look cute there. And maybe instead of white flowers here, maybe some of those pinker flowers, oops pink that looks nice maybe here instead of that I'm gonna have some more purple and so that's gonna pop a little bit more on the white background and I can have a version for a white shirt and I can have a version for a dark shirt so there would be nothing from stopping me from just going ahead and saying look I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna change this all back so it looks good on a dark shirt and I'm gonna keep this also it looks for a light shirt and putting up two versions so depending on what setting you're, you're on, you know, if you were on Amazon Merch, then it would be easy to throw up, you know, several different versions of the same designs, just using some different colors. And if I'm gonna do it on white, maybe, maybe I would like to do a little bit of a shadow around the letters. So maybe I'll go to effects and maybe I'll go with a little bit of a shadow, maybe something more in the lines of a navy blue. So something maybe a little darker blue lose my transparency and maybe just a little bit of a shadow so depending on kind of how i want that to look so there's a little shadow there and that looks kind of cool and that's a cute teacher design maybe i don't want the pink the pink maybe doesn't stand out as well maybe i want to go with the purple or maybe i want that to be that sort of dark navy color in which case i can go ahead and match that by using my eyedropper feature and going right over my shadow and matching it that way helping little minds grow there and so anyways, that's it, super easy. This is a popular design style that I'm seeing a lot more with the little flowers growing. And of course, this one happens to say teacher and I don't want you guys to copy exactly. So think of what other words might look good there. I mean, a lot of things are popular. Mom, grandma, um, nurse, coach, whatever. You can come up with all sorts of words and do this exact same similar design style. You can come up with a different phrase here, but it's the style that I wanted to show you. And once you have it, it's pretty easy to do. And then again, all you would have to do if I wanted to change it, duplicate the page, have another page, and maybe on this other page, I can just start changing the letters one by one to be something else. And but I can kind of keep my flowers and keep the colors the same. So it's another one of those designs that once you get a good foundation you can use it as sort of a template for other designs and other ways that you you can you know put other niches into this if you have any questions about this drop it in the comment section below i'll try to get back to everybody as quickly as i can i hope you guys are doing really good with your quarter one and i do hope to see you guys again that's it for today's video if you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos as always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.